everybody, it's that time again. Yep, it's drama time. Jacqueline Hill has returned to Twitter two months after her failed lipstick launch and a few weeks after returning to Instagram and YouTube. I think she took longer to reinstate her Twitter because it is less censored and people can say whatever they want pretty much, so for her it may have seemed more harsh. I also noticed that her website has a new message saying Jacqueline Cosmetics will be back, we're taking a moment to rebuild so we can give you the best products and customer experience. The future is bright and we're excited for what's to come. Anyway, she posted yesterday with the simple caption, Hi Babies, and as predicted, the response was very, very mixed. One person wrote, If you're back to lie and shill, please leave again. Another said, The only redeeming factor about Twitter is that she cannot control the narrative as well. It's a more accurate representation of how people feel. However, it quickly became apparent that Jacqueline was trying to do exactly that. Jacqueline Hill Labs Exposed, who from the start has been an outspoken critic of Jacqueline and the way that this was all handled, wrote, She's already trying to control the narrative by deleting a post where she received a lot of pushback. She knew people wouldn't do that under the picture she shared, not to mention she's probably blocked hundreds of people today already. And that was true. More and more people started finding out they were getting blocked. One tweeted, just noticed at Jacqueline Hill blocked me on Instagram and Twitter. Followed and supported her for years and to get blocked because I complained about the way she handled the lipstick fiasco. Really girl? Childish on a whole other level. Under her post, two other people said, I'm blocked as well. She also went on a drama channel blocking spree, blocking tea spill, tea by Ali, truth hurts and Jacqueline Hill Labs exposed, got blocked five minutes after she returned to Twitter. I mean, really, Jacqueline, this is just not a good look at all, especially as some people are long-time fans who are still, and I mean still, two whole months later allegedly waiting for their refund. It just goes to show that she really cannot handle criticism or that she is not able to be the boss she says she thinks she is made to be. I get blocking and deleting stuff that is offensive and that has gone too far because there are people that do that. But fans of yours that have spent their hard-earned money to buy your products that are never cheap and you block or ignore their complaints. I had a feeling that she had hired a new PR team because her statement that she put on her Jacqueline Cosmetics Instagram seemed very professionally done. But if that were the case, I would have thought they would have told her that this is not the way to go about it yet again. She also posted a response to post by Manny, wrote saying that he was impressed and proud of the new generation of beauty influencers coming up. Their support and sense of community with one another is inspiring. Jacqueline's reply saying slaying the community and saving the community, after someone replied saying slaying and saving the community, is that what you call it? Okay sis. Jacqueline replied saying, I'm referring to the new generation of YouTubers. I believe they are incredibly talented and turning our community around in a positive way. However, she then went on to completely delete her post. She did the same thing on Instagram after posting about food poisoning and people saying she was faking it. I do feel slightly bad about the fact that she feels she can't say anything without the backlash because she obviously feels that way otherwise she wouldn't say stuff and then delete them. I also think the things Manny and her said were true. The beauty community has been a hot mess lately and like Marlena said in her My Truth video that back when people started doing makeup on YouTube there was a community and people were helping each other and sticking together not like now where there was the Manny social climbing, the James, Manny and Jeffrey falling out drama and just the influencer sense of entitlement that we saw lately at Beautycom. I think there is a problem because money's involved and good money so it's competitive rather than just the love of makeup anyway what do you guys think of Jacqueline's return to Twitter and her blocking people left right and center let me know in the comments section below and if you could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to become part of the notification squad that would be awesome see you next time